Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, uh, Stephen Stallions. This is Mr. Towser again, and today we are going to look at um, how you can make a basketball game, a video basketball game, just something fun you can do on your own, on your computer, or you can send it to friends. Uh, they can play it on their phones, on their computers. Um, so we're going to go through that. You may have seen me do something like this in my live session on Friday, May 15th, but I decided to make a video about it too, so it's a little easier to access. But this is how to build a, a basketball game in, in code.org. It's, it's, it's one of the features they have in there. So what you're gonna do, you go to code.org, like I did right here, in whatever browser you use, uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, Bing, uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Edge, however, however you get to the internet, Safari on an, on an iPhone, uh, and then you're going to go to projects. And uh, we're going to look at projects. Now, it's going to look like this here, and you can see Sprite Lab. We've done Sprite Lab before, App Lab. I've shown you some stuff in there before, but we need to go view the full list. So I just hide the full list, view the full list. So it's right here on the page. And then there's all sorts of other options here. There's Dance Party. Some of you have done Dance Party before. It's kind of a fun way to make some creatures dance and have some cool music. But today we're looking at basketball. And it looks something like this. And this is uh, the basketball feature on code.org. And we're going to build a little game. And uh, first thing... That I want to do is make sure there's a ball in place. So when I click run, I'm going to move this, throw a new ball. I got it right here. You put the ball here. So whenever I click run, it's going to throw a ball. Watch this. Just like that. Okay. That's the first thing I had to do. Next thing, the control buttons for this game are the left arrow and the right arrow. So right here you have a left arrow, uh, right arrow. And what I want to do is... I want to make it so this controls the uh, the hand here. This is a little hand. So when I hit the left arrow, the hand's going to move left. And when I hit the right right arrow, okay, I'm just clicking and moving those blocks. When I hit the left arrow, it's going to move. The hand is going to move left. When I hit the right arrow, the hand's going to move right. Watch what happens. Here. So there goes the ball. Oh, I'm a little slow. Okay. Now the way this game is set up is you're trying to move your hand so the ball will bounce back and you're trying to make baskets eventually. That's kind of the idea of the game. But you have to, we have to do a couple more things in the coding to get the computer to do what we want it to do before that's going to happen. So I have some other blocks. The way this, this feature works is they give you some blocks to work with so you don't have to, you don't have to figure it all out. But basically I've got it here so the when I hit the left arrow, the hand's going to move left. Hit the right arrow, the hand's going to move right. Okay, now, when the ball hits, hits, my, hits the hand, what do we want it to do? Well, we want the ball to bounce. Okay, so watch this. If I do this, I run. See, there, it bounces off. And just for a little added fun, I'm going to make it so not only does it bounce, it's going to make a bounce sound. So I'm going to move this a little bit, okay, and if I reset, run, see, did you hear bounce? Bounce, okay, like that. Next thing I want to do, when the ball hits the wall, I, I want it to do something, and I don't want it to go through the, through the wall, I want it to actually bounce, and I want it to make the bounce sound. So basically it's doing the same thing, whether it hits a hand or the wall. So watch what happens here. There's the bounce. Is it going to bounce there? Yeah, see, it bounces. Bounces off the hand, bounces off the wall. Just like that, back and forth. That's cool. All right, and then, oh, so then the question becomes, well, what's going to happen if it goes in the goal? Well, that's a great question. Obviously, it's not going to bounce because it, it's going to go in the goal. So I want to actually, when it goes in the goal, I want to score a point. And it's going to put a point right there for me when I score a goal. And 
it's going to look like this. It's gonna, hopefully I won't do too poorly here. I thought I had it. Ah, it's it's a little tricky. I'm trying. I think that's going to go in the goal, isn't it? Nope, it's not. Shoot. Oh, I missed. Okay, but it's going to go in that goal eventually. We'll we'll get back to that in a minute. All right. So when the ball's in the goal, I score a point, and I'd like it to make some sound too. So we're going to play. I don't want to bounce sound. No. If you score a goal, what do people do? They cheer. So it's going to cheer. Now, what's going to happen if the ball comes like it just did with me? It comes back here and it doesn't hit a wall, doesn't go in the basket, but it misses the hand. It comes and goes out. Well, that's when the opponent's going to score a point. And we're going to play a sound. It's just the whistle sound. Okay, so it's going to look like this. There, I got a point, right? I made a basket. All right, now, the only problem I have now is I've made this game, and you can only play one basket. If I wanted to go do any more, I have to reset it. Hmm. It's bouncing. Let's make sure it goes up. Oh, there. It went off, and the opponent got a point. But to be honest, I can only shoot one basket at a time, one ball. When the ball is gone, the game's over. I have to reset. That's not any good. That's not fun. So fortunately, there's a feature here I can use to make it even a better game. And that is, I can find this little throw new ball. Let me get a couple of those out. So I can make it where when the ball goes in the goal, it throws a new ball. Which means I can keep on playing, right? And when... the ball misses the hand, I can throw a new ball. Okay? So it's going to look like this. Whatever happens here. There, I did it. I scored. It gives me a point. But now a new ball goes. I get to run. Oh, there. The opponent got a point. And it's going to still give me a new ball. Just like that. I made a point, but the ball is coming. New ball is coming. Just like that. Crowd's cheering. Okay, and the game goes, and it'll go on forever. Yeah, I guess if you wanted to make the game more challenging, you could, here we have throw new ball, you could have two new balls. And you could have two new balls. And you could have two new balls, if you wanted to. Let's see what that looks like. Well, we got two balls coming. Oh my goodness, that's hard. One of them goes in, we're going to have two new balls probably. Got all kinds of balls flying around. <laughs> so I think I think having two new balls might be a bit much. So I can fortunately I can pull this off, go back, throw it away, pull this off, throw it away, pull this off, throw it away. And with that, that's pretty much the game right there. Okay, I've got balls going in, doing that. The only thing left to do is if you want to, this looks like it's sponsored by professional basketball, so you can pick a team. So you say, when you throw, when you run, we're going to actually have a team. I, the Warriors, nah, it, it's got all the NBA teams, all the WNBA teams. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna go to Canada. I'm going to pick the Toronto Raptors just for fun. And so you see when I run it now, it pulls up the Raptors logo. And you can pick any team you want. If you want to pick the Rockets, that's cool. If you like the Lakers, that's cool. If you want to pick... The Milwaukee Bucks, that's awesome. Uh, if you want to pick uh, the San Antonio Stars, I believe is their WNBA team. Let me find one of those here in a second. We're gonna reset. Okay, there's uh, there's uh, the Atlanta Dream, the Chicago Sky. Let's see what that is, the Chicago Sky. That's the Chicago WNBA team. And there's their, their little uh, logo for the game. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Okay, and to show you one other option that you have, if you want to, this little button here says set hand speed. You can make it so your hand moves different speeds or it goes very slow, it goes super fast. You can do that if you want. We're going back to normal. Uh, you can also, the ball speed, if you want the ball to go really fast, then 
or if you want the ball to go super slow, okay? But what you can do when you're done making this game, like I am, Chicago Sky, you can share it with your friends or share it with your family or share it with me if you want, okay? And the way you do that, let me go back and go to the, sh the share button while the game's playing. Actually, I'm going to stop that so I'm not hearing all the noise. You click the share button, and you can send it to a phone, just like other things I've showed you on here. You put in the number, and you send it. Okay, I'll do that. Or you can share it if, if it's okay with your parents. You can share on Facebook. You can share on Twitter. But you can also just copy this link, and then you control C, you can save that. Or if you're, however you save a link on your computer, you save it, control C, and then if you watch this, I go to a new tab and I control V, I put in that link. Or if you get the link on a phone, you click on it, and then the game is going to be right there. If I run it, there, see, it's the Chicago Scout. Whoops, I'm moving a little slow. But see, now I'm playing the game. You kind of have to re-angle your hand, so it goes through there. All right, it's one-to-one. -one. So um, that's it. And that is how you share the game. Okay, again, you click on Share, and you get this dialog box, and you can share, you know, you can share by phone, you can share by... Um, clicking the link and sharing it. If somebody is by the computer and they have a phone, they can scan a QR code. They can scan the QR code and they'll see the same thing. All right, so that is how you make a, a, a simple basketball game on code.org. Again, if you make one and you want to share it with me, you can share it, you know, get the link and then um, share it on Dojo with me through the you know, in your portfolio, or even just send me, have you or your parents send me a direct message with the link. If you're having trouble sending a link, you can even, if you just, if you just want to show it to me, you can take a picture of it or a screenshot of it and just send me that. It It's more fun if I can play it, but if you send me a picture, it's cool to see what you did. And, you know, you can you can share it with your friends. You guys, you and your friends can play this game, be, be playing a game that you made, which I think is pretty cool. But uh, that is it. I'm going to, with that, close this screen, and then I'm going to minimize my whole screen because I think I'm about done to stop. I am about done recording, and I'm about ready to stop. So 